Hi and welcome to Melel3. In this video, I'd like to show you another new feature of Melel3, the new palettes. So let's get started. I launch Melel. Now the palettes are what you see here on the right. What do we do with the palettes? The palettes are the place where you control and manipulate the text in the document. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'll show you. First palette is the character palette. What do I do with the character palette? I make changes to the text, to the character attributes of the text. I'll select some text. And now I have here a list of styles. I select a style and double click it. And it is applied on the text. Double click another style and it is applied. So on. So, with a character palette, I can apply character styles. But this is not the only thing I can do with it, because I have another section to this palette, the attribute section. So, so far we've been in the style section, and now we can see the attribute section. And in the attribute section, I'll click that, we have all the uh, traditional controls of uh, text, font, face, size, and so on. I can change the color, so on. So we have two ways to uh, manipulate the character attributes. So we can use styles, and if you know what styles are and use them and like that, by all means use that. Or if you like to make change, changes ad hoc to the text and don't care about styles, you can uh, go that way and use the attributes uh, uh, section. Now, you don't have to make this selection every time because Melanet will remember uh, what you selected. And if you, if you like to see attributes, character attributes in the character palette, this is what you'll see every time you choose the character palette. Next palette is the paragraph palette. And the paragraph palette controls, surprise, surprise, the uh, paragraph attributes. So if I select the paragraph, I can apply a paragraph style to the paragraph. And also, just like the character palette, I have the attribute section. If I click that, I see all the paragraph attributes. For example, alignment, align center, left, right. I can change the line spacing, paragraph spacing, so on. Next palette is the list palette. Again, the same thing, we have uh, style sections or attribute sections. So you can uh, manipulate lists either by using styles or by uh, using the attributes ad hoc. Section, the same thing, styles and attributes of sections, things like columns and so on. Page, this is where you set stuff like uh, footers, headers, background image, and so on. And again, you have the style sections and attribute sections. Next palette is the table palette. And this is what you use to manipulate tables. So I'll, I have a table here, I'll select some cells. And I can change the width of the line. Or change the background color of cells. And so on. So all sorts of manipulations on tables. You can add rows uh, and columns, split cells, uh, delete cells, merge cells, and so on. Now in the next uh, group of palettes, the first palette is the auto title palette. And the auto title palette is a thing we can use to insert auto titles to the text. So I'll double click a, a level, type something. And I have a new auto title. Bibliography palette is where we deal with the bibliographies and citations and so on. Uh, there is a separate video about uh, bibliography. Uh, if you're interested, you can watch that, and we'll we we'll talk about more in detail about that. The reference 
uh, palette is uh, where you deal with the cross references. You put bookmarks and then you can refer to them and uh, say, on, see that and that on page that and that and so on. Again, I, I won't go into details, but cross reference is the reference palette. Object is the palette to control floating images. So I'll select a floating image and I can, for example, change the way the text wraps around the floating image. Left, right, both sides, so on. Change the transparency at the frame, all sorts of stuff you can do with the floating image. Next in line is the markers palette. And markers are, as the name implies, markers. I can select some text, double click a marker name, and the text is marked. And now this is not something that is um, printed actually, but it's just for you so you can see that you mark the text and maybe you want to review it. Maybe it is discussing a certain topic, you want to mark it in a special way. Now I can do two things with the marker palette. I can mark text, so I can go here and maybe mark more text. And also this. And I, I can also jump between places that are marked. So I'll click that. I'll see the next place where I have marked text. So, so this is what you do with markers. Last but not least, the statistics palette. And this is where you can see character count of the document, how many words, how many lines, paragraphs, how many footnotes, how many images, so on. So this is a quick review of what uh, palettes, uh, what palettes we have. Now let's talk about the mechanics of the palettes. Now we have two groups of palettes by default, and they are stuck together. But you can also detach them like that. So if you want to put maybe one group on the left, one group on the right, any way of arranging them, you can do that. You can also move palettes inside the palette. So I can, if I don't like this order, I can uh, maybe put the table palette at the top, and so on. I can do that. I can also take a palette and detach it. And, it, and it's separate, and I can maybe have more than two, more than three palettes open at the same time, if I like that, and if I have a big, big, big enough screen. I can always return them back. I can also move palettes between groups. So, for example, I have the character palette here and the paragraph palette here. Now, what if I wanted to see them both at the same time? I can't do this like that because they are in the same group. If I click character, I see character. If I click paragraph, I see paragraph. What do I do? I can put the paragraph palette in the second group and now I can have both of them open at the same time. So if if I want that, if I, I need a, sp a specific configuration, I can do that really easily. Now, another thing we have in the palettes is this little menu here. I click that. And here I have all sorts of options, more explicit. For example, I can add palettes to the group instead of dragging them from group to group. I can remove palettes from the group. And I can also choose uh, how to see the tabs. So at the moment I see icon and text, so I see uh, both. I can choose icon only. This makes it uh, smaller, so it fits a smaller screen. Maybe I, I'll use text only. And this is also very economical in space-wise. I can also use a smaller size. Gives me slightly more space in if uh, my situation is tight. And speaking about tight situations, we recommend putting all the palettes in the same group, like that. Configure your palettes like this, and this is really something that is uh, really nice on a smaller screen. So, uh, with that tip, uh, we'll conclude. Thanks for watching. See you next time. 
and uh, bye bye